Holy fuck! Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building the 1967 Ford Mustang Fastback from Tokyo Drift and as you can see we are going to be using the Vapid Ellie to create this build. So without any further ado, let's get on with it and we're going to start as always with 100% body armor then we're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes. Then we're going to move on to the front bumper. At the moment it actually looks pretty much spot on, you know, we don't want to add any of these splitters so uh, yeah, we're going to stay stock for the front bumper. Then that brings us down to the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhaust. We need a big, chunky exhaust at the rear. And even though we've got dual exit exhaust at the moment, we need a singular if we can get one from the rear. So none of these side exits are going to be good enough. Uh, definitely none of these hood intakes either. And so it looks like we're going to have to stay stock for the exhaust, unfortunately, because the one from the movie does have a bit like a big ball exhaust but it's uh, to the right hand side of the car rather than it being dual piped and central so it is a little bit disappointing that we can't get anything um, you know other than what we've got here the dual exit at the rear um, it's all like side exhausts and hood exhausts which are really the only difference but unfortunately this is what we've got this is the best we can get so stock is unfortunately going to be the one to go for then we're going to go with the lights we're going to go headlights and purchase the xeon headlights then we're going to move on to the livery we want to get this classic twin white stripe then we're going to move on to the respray we've got to go into primary color and we are going to go classic for this because like i say in most of my builds if we're going to have a livery you can't really have uh, a metallic paint job because you get the pearlescent shine transfer onto the livery and it kind of looks a little bit strange and it doesn't make sense that's a rockstar logic moment right there but if you do have a livery you really need to go with a classic paint job um so like i said go go into classic and we're going to go down to dark green next we've got the suspension we're not going to go crazy with this it is quite low at stock to be fair so i think um maybe just the lowered suspension is just enough i think if we go you know to sport that is pretty much slammed and it's not what it's like in the movie it is very similar to the lowered suspension so i think that's going to be best obviously transmission we're going to get the race transmission and the turbo tuning for the wheels we're going to go into wheel type and then we're going to go into the suv category and you want to go and find these loz speed baller rims they look pretty much identical to what we need you've got like the chrome trim around the outside and then more of like an alloy color in the middle um, but we are going to go into wheel colour because I'm hoping that we can darken this up without it going too dark if that makes sense. And I think the stone silver actually looks really good. Yeah, so for wheel colour you will go with stone silver. Once you're here guys you might as well go into tyres and purchase the bulletproof tyres because if you're in GTA you got to have bulletproof tyres. I know Sean probably didn't run bulletproof tyres in Tokyo Drift. But man, you're in the streets of Los Santos motherfucker so you need bulletproof tyres. And to finish off the build as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the Loke Smoke window tin. So as you pull out of LS Customs, you can now see I have transformed this Vapid Ellie into the 1967 Ford Mustang Fastback from Tokyo Drift. Now, I did do this build a few years ago actually on my channel, uh, before the Ellie was released. I believe I used the Sabre Turbo. I'm not 100% sure if that is correct but I'm pretty sure I used the Sabre Turbo last time I've done this build and um, obviously it's outdated you know so I thought I'd refresh it with the Vapid Ellie I know the Ellie's now been out for wow it must have been must be about two years now the Ellie's been out correct me if I'm wrong but it's been out for quite a while so this video is long overdue the updated version of the 67 Fastback from Tokyo Drift and it looks amazing man I think the wheels are pretty much bang on uh, you know where you've got like the darker grey colour in the middle and then you've got the chrome trim on the outside of it. Uh, you've got the white two stripe livery going across the top and also you get it across the doors as well which is awesome. Uh, like I said the only downside really that I thought to myself is that the lack of exhausts at the rear which disappointed me a little bit. But it's not the end of the world you know it still looks awesome. 
and I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. So if you guys enjoyed this video or if it helped you out in any kind of way, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.